stay at home. Right now, it is not an option for one fraternity at CU Boulder. The school has been cracking down on students not following health orders. Eddie Reynell is in Boulder right now. And Eddie, now there's some serious consequences if these students break the rules. That's right, Natasha, and it's a mandatory order by the city of Boulder for the people staying in this fraternity house on 10th Street here in the city. And the city says it is, you know, steps that they're taking are stressful or serious, but they're necessary. It seems like this that has forced the city of Boulder and CU Boulder University administrators to take serious action. On Wednesday, the city issued a mandatory self quarantine order at 1125 10th Street. The building serves as an annex for the Kappa Sigma Alpha fraternity, and the city says the house has repeatedly engaged in activities that violate public health orders during the COVID-19 pandemic. Residents of that address have to stay at home for the next two weeks and can only leave for things like in person classes to work or medical reasons. City manager Jane Brodigam said in a news release, the city realizes this is a significant enforcement step, but it is essential to public health and safety. She says residents of that property unfortunately have continued to gather socially and have not been in compliance with existing health orders. She says their behavior jeopardizes not only their lives, but also the lives and livelihoods of their neighbors and the rest of the Boulder community. CU's chief operating officer Pat O'Rourke says 422 students have been cited for student conduct violations with a number of them now facing suspensions. We are noticing that once there are formal conversations and disciplinary actions that are taken with students, those do tend to modify behaviors. The mandatory quarantine order for the 10th Street House took effect on Tuesday night at 1159 and will last until September 29th at the same time. Back out here live in Boulder, the city also says it's closely monitoring three other addresses that have had activity at their places that, you know, may be also violating health orders. They say if those violations continue, then they will take similar approaches, just like the one that they're doing um, over at the fraternity house on 10th Street.